Here I've been drawing healthy meibomium glands. You can see that the glands are wider than the distances between. They're regular, they're long, they're smooth, and they're even. They're all similar. Actually, a meibomium gland isn't just one gland. It's a common stalk, a duct, with hundreds and hundreds of acini glands, each individual and on their own and separate which is doing the secreting. If you fold the eyelid over and look at it with your microscope, you will see that the, the glands push against the palpebral conjunctiva, making little rip wrinkles, ripples. Okay, and each ridge is a little gland. So that's how they are when they're in good condition. This is what they look like when they are diseased. And you can see the effect of inflammation or toxic things on the gland. They're very short, they're foreshortened, and each acini has died back. Okay, the distance between the glands is wider as well, and they're not so regular. If you fold the lid back now, the crease is smoother. This is another drawing I've done of uh, my Birmingham glands. This time the inflammation comes from the eyelid margin and as you can, you can tell that by the telangiectasia from the margin. It is attacked the duct. There are some acini isolated from the duct lower down. Okay, They can't secrete because there's no duct to secrete with. If you fold the lid back it's now smooth. If you look at the lid margin it's now dimpled and wrinkled. This is very typical in chronic smokers. You will see all these patterns in chronic smokers. The most common one is here. And maybe this is from toxic sub substances and reactive oxygen species in the tobacco smoke uh, affecting the glands directly. This is in a chronic smoker of more than 20 pack years. They've got plenty of tears. The trouble with the tears is it's got high osmolarity. So uh, you can dilute the tears with comfort eye drops but a better approach is to replace the Maybum with um, lipid sprays. Cleaning the eyelid margins regularly, every day in fact, will also be useful. And this can be done with soap or some sort of cleanser. And also warming the glands uh, with a heat sock is also known to help. Overall, this is going to be done very regularly. Of course, stopping smoking will also help.